Hello and welcome to my official guide of how to play Railgunner. This is going to follow a very, very similar process to a YouTuber called Willy. Thank you very much for that. And if you want to watch my live gameplay, twitch.tv slash moonlighter, uh, check it out. And anyway, let's get on with it. We'll be going over skill and overview, gameplay tips, then good items, early game, just like Willy again. So let's get on with it. Railgunner's passive is very simple. It'll, all critical strike chance will turn into critical strike damage. So if you're 10% critical strike damage chance, you'll do 10% critical strike damage if you hit a critically weak spot. XQR smart round system is basically poking an enemy and tickling them at the same time. If you want some big boy damage, use the M99 sniper because it does some chonky 1000% damage. Marksman is just the faster shooting version of the chonky damage thing, but you don't do as much chonky damage. Concussion device is going to be your main source of movement throughout the entire game, so you better get used to it. Polar field device is basically engineer shield, but a lot worse. Supercharge is basically Railgunner's super omega damage hit. If you want to get a million damage in one shot, go supercharge. And last but not least, cryo charge is basically supercharge shot, but just with a little bit less damage and a freeze. AKA half the damage, but I'll go into that later. All right, now on to the loadout. Secondary, you can use either one. If you want the heavy, chunky damage, use the first one. If you want the faster damage, you can use the second one. But utility, on the other hand, I would never ever use the ultra utility. It is so poor. It is not going to do anything. It's just going to slow the guys down, not even a lot. Maybe 50%, which might seem crazy. But projectiles, most of them are going so fast that the 50% slow doesn't really do anything. And I would much rather the movement. In this situation right here, it costs me 30 seconds of scaling to get across the map. I would much rather have the speed being able to get items and kill more guys rather than to do all this waiting. And even when I use it on this most optimal situation, I have the thing down, trying to protect myself. Half the things that it attacks me, I won't even block. The laser, I'll just get hit by, completely being laser beam. The wisps, they'll hit me no matter what. Most of the things will hit me no matter what, so I would not go it, and of course I'm gonna die here. One more thing to note, this, the beginning secondary has 100 more DPS than the marksman, but it's not crazy different because, you know, marksman is better at prepping on hit effects. But uh, the alternate specials, the freezing one's better to kill Mythrix, but if you're just trying to do everything else very well, uh, the, the original one, the power shot, works much better with scaling crowbars and glass. If you're having trouble hitting your sniper shots, I recommend aiming first with the crosshair, probably the running crosshair, like right here, look at this, I'm aiming, I'll get in the general direction, then I zoom up and shoot. That makes it much, much more consistent. Here are some more examples of me doing that real quick. Aim, remember, aim first with the crosshair, then scope and shoot. It'll help you a lot with the two times zoom of the other sniper. As a real gunner, you also have extreme verticality that you're really gonna wanna practice to get these jumps perfectly helmed in so you can get to new alters. But you're also gonna wanna know how to get down. I recommend this technique. Since you only can have one mine down at a time, you can shoot another one to perfectly activate the other one. Make sure you don't mess it up though, because it could take a lot of fall damage and mess you up big time. But know that you also can use your special, either one, to get, stop your fall damage. All right, now on to some items that are really good on Rail Gunner that I would prioritize. First off, glass. Prioritize glass. That might seem foolish because you already do a lot of damage, but glass is going to make you be able to one-shot any boss and handle Mythrix, especially the alternate boss I'm not going to talk about right now that you didn't hear from me. So make sure to get those get glass. You're going to need at least two glass. That's a good flesh hold if you want to stay a little bit tanky to survive. But if you want to go all crazy, get 30 glass. I don't care. Also, another lunar you want to get is Strides of Heresy. You might see that I replaced my shift with Strides of Heresy. Now you might be thinking that's a little stupid, but it isn't. It allows me to have that invincibility frames and still keep the movement of the original shift. I recommend Strides of Heresy too. I will also recommend getting... If you're going the glass like I recommended, you're going to be needing a lot more survivability. That's why I suggest getting two items that are going to increase your survivability tenfold. You want to get Oddly Shaped Opal, which is a white common that increases armor 100 by 100, which is a lot of damage reduction. I think that's 50%, which is really nice. And then for the extra guarantee, you're going to want safer spaces. Both of these are going to act like two-shot protection. And I said two shot, not one shot protection. So you're going to have two hits you're going to be able to tank before you can react and press your shift, strides of heresy, to get out of the danger. 
highly recommend those two items. But if you're seeking more damage, which you're crazy if you do, get Crowbar. Since you're almost going to be one-shotting them or one-shotting them anyway, you may as well get Crowbar, which will increase it by 75% if they're above 90% per stack, which is crazy amount of damage, which will allow you to basically melt any boss. Any boss, including the alternate boss I did not tell you about. So those three items I would highly recommend, including Lunar and, I mean, including Glass and Strides of Heresy. Thank you so much for making it to the end. What do you guys think? Please tell me down in the comments below. As always, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.